What's up everybody, it's your boy Kilo Loco, and today we're going to be going over how to change from one app to another app. Now, you might want to do this just because your platform might have several different apps or your company might have several different apps which they want to be able to link to directly from within whatever app the user is already using. So let's say you're in app A and you want to market to all your customers or your users in app A and you want to say, hey, go download app B. Well, um, now you're going to be able to tap on a button and send that user over to tap to um, app B, whether it's already installed on their app or on their phone, or you can send them to a website to download the app. So as you can see right here, we have, we're going to have two apps right here. We have our primary app. We have our second app. And if you go ahead and look at the primary app, it's just, you know, some beautiful app. And then it has, um, you know, it has a button, which it's all it's going to do is just send you over to the other app at that point. What's going to happen if I can uh, do this is uh, it's going to open up the second app and then the second app is also going to have a link which goes back to the primary app or it would open the primary app for the very first time, you know, whatever. So that's what we're going to be covering. Now, uh, before we get started, I just want to say if you need any help, if this isn't clear to you, then just head over to kilologo.com. I offer a membership which gives you all access to all my content as well as to support slack community which i am hosting so if you need any questions or if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me on there also at kilolocal.com you'll find the project files for both of these apps both the starter and the finished version for both um both of these so that you can you know follow along as well so let's jump right on into it so as we can see this is our primary app you know beautiful background button view controller Bam, just has a button, does stuff, same thing, beautiful background, button, view controller, button, does stuff, cool. All right, so the first thing that we need to do in order to say, hey, I wanna be able to open some other app is we have to go over to our info.plist. And what we wanna do is we want to add a new field. So let's go ahead and click on this plus, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in LS application queries schemes. <laughs> I'll leave that in the description as well. All right, so now we have LS application query schemes, and this is essentially going to say, okay, which other apps do you think that you're going to be opening? And we want to set this to an array because there might be multiple. Who knows? Maybe you want to open up all kinds of apps. Uh, you know, just a little, just a little hint. You can also open other apps that you don't um, own, like you can open up Instagram and Facebook this way. Uh, you just have to know what their um, what their URL scheme essentially is. But what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, I want to open up this other app. I want to open up my second app because I'm in my primary app, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and type in second. Now, uh, you can put in whatever you want right here. You just need to make sure that this is spelled exactly the same way as it is right here in your second app when we set up the second app. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this in case I don't know how to spell second later. So this is all we really have to do for um, setting up our info.plist. But before we continue into the code, uh, let's go ahead and modify the second app's info.plist to make sure that it has this as one of the schemes that can be queried. So I'm switching over to our second app, as you can see right here. We're gonna go over to the info.plist, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the dropdown, and this one, we can just do a dropdown, and it has this, this uh, right here, URL types. Go ahead and select that, press enter, do a dropdown, bam. Do another drop down, bang. Do a plus right here on the item zero. And we're gonna say URL schemes, bang. And we're gonna do right here in our URL schemes because that's also an array, bam. And for item zero under URL schemes under URL types, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and paste in second or whatever your other app name is. Make sure that once again, this is spelled exactly the same way as this in our ls application query schemes for our primary app so secondary app looks like that primary app looks like that okay cool now we're all done with the info.plist stuff to go from primary app to secondary app so let's go ahead and start putting in some code right here 
Now, before we start writing in some code, let's talk about what's going to happen. First, we need to have access to our application. So we'll do application.shared. But what we need to do is we need to be able to check if we're able to open up this scheme or this URL, essentially, and make sure that we're able to open up that other app because that other app may or may not be on the, the user's phone. Second app may um, be on the other user's phone or they might not have downloaded it yet. So what we'll want to do is if we can open up the other app, we'll just open up the other app. But if they don't have the app on their phone, what we'll do is we'll open up the website for that app and we'll send them there instead. So let's go ahead and write out some code and we'll take a look at it after we're done. Alrighty. So as you can see, what we did is we have access to our application, you know, and then what we want to do is we want to create the path for the app. And that's what we have right here for the second app path. Now, once again, this is spelled exactly the same way that it's spelled in both of our um, info.plist second, second, and back over here second. It has to be spelled the same way because that's essentially like a URL uh, for the app. Now, we're gonna actually wrap this string inside of an actual URL object, and I'm just forced on wrapping it. Um, you know, because I'm crazy and wild, but I mean, you could do some fallback stuff if you want and do a guard or a if statement if you want to make sure that this is a, a proper URL. But um, everything should check out this is proper URL for um, syntax. And then uh, the same thing for the website. So this is going to be the website that I'm going to send users to if they don't already have the second app installed, which in this case, we're just going to send it to kilo.loco.com. And um, as you can see, we're going to just write this if statement. So if the application can open this URL, which means that the application is installed on the user's device, then what we're going to do is we're going to say application dot open that that app URL. Now, I left this in here, these options and this completion handler, just to let you know that they're in there. Now, the options. The options are if you want to do some type of deep linking, uh, we're not going to cover that today in this video. Uh, if you want me to cover deep linking, then let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure I'll add that to the list of to do's. And the completion handler is essentially, is there anything that you want this current app, the primary app to do after it has already opened that um, after it runs the code to open up that app URL. So if you want to do something right after it's done running this code, then that's what you would put in the completion handler. Both of these uh, arguments have default values, so you don't actually have to include them. Um, so you can actually make your open statement look just like this because this is doing the same exact statement. We could actually delete these if we wanted and have our code looking nice and sexy. And, um, you know, but that's an option to you. So there are options if you want to put those in there. Now, if it can open this app URL, which means that the app is located on the user's device, the second app is on the user's device and already downloaded, then it'll open that app. If it cannot open that, that URL because the user has not downloaded that app, then it, we're going to just open up the website. So let's go ahead and run this right now and just make sure that everything's working as we expect it to. All right, so we have the app opened up. We're gonna say go to secondary app. We tap on it and we're showing that it's going straight to the Kilo Local website. Now, the reason why it's going to the Kilo Local website is because it could not find another app that has this path right here. Even though I have, even though I have the second app on here, which is right here, I haven't ran the second app with the updated info.plist so essentially it doesn't see an app with that path and it can't open up an app with that path. But if I go ahead and run my second app with the changes that we've made in here, and then I close this app and then I open up the primary app again, and then I click on go to secondary. Now it's going to open up this app directly because now I have the updated code right here on this app. And it would, it would do the same exact thing if the app was un if the app was not installed. So if I were to delete this, it would just, uh, open up the, the website as we saw it do before. So it just opened up the kilo website. So make sure you check that one out.
All right, so we went from primary app to secondary app, but let's be able to go from secondary app to primary app. And we're essentially gonna do the same exact thing. It's gonna be the same exact code, but like kind of in reverse. Um, nothing really changes. You just have to make sure that you set up both of the info.plist to have the same exact information, but to go to the other place. So while we're looking at our, currently we're looking at our second app. So what we wanna do is we wanna add the ls application query schemes so let's go ahead and add that right now all right so i i almost spelled it wrong right there but uh ls application query screen schemes and then we make it array we do bam like that we want to do add bam like that like boom and then what we want to do is we want to say okay where are we planning on going what is the what is the application's um, URL scheme that we're going to be calling. We're going to be calling primary. So we're going to make sure that we enter in primary right there for item zero under LS application queries schemes in the second app. Now we have to do the URL types for the primary app. So let's go ahead and go and go do that. These, uh, these have switched around. It's confusing me a little bit. Let's just do that. All right, so now we're in the primary app, as you can see right there. And what we wanna do is we wanna add the URL types. So let's go ahead, scroll all the way down to URL types. Bam, like that. We're gonna say kablam. And we're gonna do a drop down, another drop down. Do a plus right here. And we're gonna say URL schemes, kablam. And we're gonna say that this one is another drop down another kablam and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say okay well what what um, what am I gonna be called when somebody tries to open me up well I'm gonna be called primary so we're gonna put in primary for item zero under URL schemes so now essentially all the all the info.plist are both of the info.plist are all set up they're able to they're, they're, they know that they can go back and forth. But what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have this code for the secondary app. So let's go ahead and add that in right now. And I'm just gonna copy and paste and cheat a little bit. All right, so we're in our second app. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in. The same exact code. Now I just wanna make sure that I'm updating all of these, all the information to, to go to the proper place. So let me do that right now. All right, so I updated all the information in the second app. As you can see, it says primary app path, and it's gonna be this path because that's what we're calling it in the primary apps info.plist. We're saying we're gonna be called primary. The URL schemes is called primary, so we're gonna put primary right there. Um, we're gonna turn it into a URL. We're gonna say, once again, go to kiloloco.com if, if you can't find it. And then I'm just gonna do the short version this time where it's gonna just be open app URL if you can. Now, I'm gonna run this right now, and remember that, I, once again, I did not run the primary app yet, so it doesn't have the updated scheme on it. So when I tap on this, it should be opening, opening up Safari going to kiloloco.com, which we can see happens right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this, or I'm gonna, well, I, could, I didn't have to stop it, but um, I'm gonna run my primary app so that it has the updated info.plist with um, the URL types in there. And now if I close this, if I close this app, go to my second app and hit go to primary, it's gonna open up my primary app. And now we're able to jump back and forth between two separate apps and be able to show them. Now, I just do this all day. But uh, yeah, so that's all for today. Um, pretty simple, very easy to do. Just wanted to make sure that you guys fully understand what was happening. And uh, I want to say thank you for your time. And if you have any questions or need any help with your own project, or maybe a project that's related to this, then feel free to reach out to me. Um, once again, I have the all access membership, which comes with support. So I'll actually invite you to Slack. You can send me your code there and uh, or code snippets and, and we can, you know, talk about and I can help you get through anything right there. Um, so make sure you check that out. Make sure you go to kiloloco.com to get these uh, beginner and finished project, the, the starter and the finished project 
for both of these so that you can implement this in your own project very easily. And uh, if you have any other videos or topics that you want covered, make sure you leave a comment below. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in and make sure that you keep coding passionately as it says right here. Bam.